Well, here I am. I've rigged up a, a camera. Let's just say I jerry-rigged it. I don't uh, don't own a video camera anymore. So what I ended up doing is taking this big old camera I've got here and sticking it out on a stick. So I've jerry-rigged a camera, kind of like a GoPro. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work or not. The plan is, is that I'm going to Go down with my walker and then we're gonna go over the cross trail and from there go down to the lake and down to the river and back and about a half mile walk round trip so I don't know if this is gonna work or not but let's give it a try okay I made it to the cross trail which is about oh I know a couple hundred yards from my house behind me is the cross trail trail and uh, you heard that That's, that wasn't a bear that was my walker back here this is what I'm moving in my walker anyway the cross trail back up this way goes for uh, seven miles but the farthest I've ever gone in this thing is uh, is about a mile so that's a round trip two miles to the house I make it to about the Gavin Ridge Trail where there's a bench to sit on. A little ways up the trail here, there's another, there's a little bench to sit on. I walk up there quite a bit. And uh, going around, let's look here down here. This is going the other direction on the cross trail, and uh, that's going to let down to the lake, and that's the way we'll go. Oh, heck with it. Let's go up to the meadow and then stop. I don't know how this is working. I've got this camera hanging around my neck. Uh, I can't fasten it very sturdy so it's probably moving around a lot as I travel down this trail. It's not easy using one of these uh, walkers but I can go two or three times as far as I used to go with my cane and the last year or so my uh, physical condition has gone down a little bit so I ain't going to stop walking someday maybe I'll have to get a motorized trike or something I don't know but I don't get there very fast but I get there as long as it ain't very far or steep huh some fall colors out here in the woods. I'll step away a little bit. That's my walker right there. It works pretty good. Got the chair to sit in. Little bag. You need the brakes though going downhill. Anyway, boy isn't it fun getting old. Sure looking for that gold in the golden years. Well, we're getting close up here, the meadow or a muskeg. There's so many different kinds of environments here in Sitka. It's like living in multiple worlds. Yeah, it's been pretty fun living here for over 35 years. It's like living in a national park. It's fun living someplace where everybody else is trying to get to well here we are the first muskeg meadow of our house Well, by gum, by golly, made it to the muskeg and the bench. It's not too bad. I come out here quite a bit, sit on the bench. 
look for mountain goats. We'll look and see if we can see any. Here's the trail continues on for seven miles. I know there's some steep spots in the middle of it, so I, I wouldn't be able to walk it if I wanted to. But I could walk the other end. Yeah, sure pine and whole different environment up here. Kind of clouded over up there today. You don't see much. I can't see up into the clouds, up into the hills. Don't see many goats or anything. The back mountains are all clouded in. Been raining hard lately. Usually they're back here in this second, third sister. Yep, not gonna see much today. Well, I decided I'd walk a little farther. Um, right down the trail here a little ways. There's a little creek, and it's the creek that feeds the small lake we're going to. Um, I think the creek is might be underground, be water coming up like a spring because it's got the same amount of water running in it the year round and it never freezes. Anyway, the fish travel up Indian River and then they go into the lake and then from the lake they go up this little creek over here and spawn. But I've never seen any salmon yet spawn this far up. Uh, We'll see. Maybe this will be a different year and there's one in there. I've never seen them this far up. There might be something down below here that blocks them. Little falls or something. It could even run underground for a while. Been known to do that. Eww. Pretty out here today. Huh. Walking pretty good. Okay, we've come to the bridge to the little creek. I hope the camera ain't bouncing too much. Oop, I get up the bridge here. Oh, here's the creek here. And you can see how much creek runs through here. Stays about this much year round. And then I can kind of waddle over here this direction. Pretty little thing. Good source of water if we needed it. I think it's all spring water. Like I say, the, the amount of water coming down this thing doesn't change. Even in the wintertime when it's cold. trail continues that way for another, like I said, it's about seven miles. After I leave the muskeg and these trees, I go into an area of really tall timber, big spruce trees. And there's another bench up there about, oh, half mile up. That's about as far as I can go with the walker. Well, I think it's time to get walking back in the walker. Uh, this is the o Oasis Space Walker. What's nice is it's got pneumatic tires. So you don't put as much air in them as you have to normally do. And, and it makes a little softer ride and push. I got little deals here to brakes, places for your arms, little bag down there, goodies. Oh, and the best part of the whole thing is this seat. Cause I, I need a place to stop and sit down all the time now. This uh, neurological muscle disease I have is chronic and uh, probably will be fatal someday. I've already lived longer than most people have had it. They call it, well the last time the people practicing medicine told me, and why would I listen to somebody practicing medicine? Anyway, they told me that uh, stiff person they thought it was stiff person syndrome and blah, 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 blah. But whatever it is, don't make any difference now. Well, I got it. Well, 
let's head up the trail. I got looking and by gosh I see some goats up there finally. They're back on the second or third sister. Way to heck up there. Never saw them before because of the clouds. Anyway, there they are right in there. That is a long way. A long ways away. Probably about four or five miles up there. Yeah, I was right. September 21st. And the first, the first snow on the high mountains on Baranoff Island. Higher peaks. Yeah. Well, well, here comes winter. Heading back down the trail to the lake. Okay, we are coming down to the lake. I got to use my brakes. It's a little steep spot here. This walker's pretty tricky coming downhill. It also has a tendency to pull you towards downhill. So if you've got a slope going to the right or the left, you want to make sure you're braking properly. So we're almost down to the lake here. Okay, uh, we're down to the lake, and if you listen, you can hear the little, that's the little inlet stream, that was the stream we saw upstream here about, oh, about a quarter mile up there, I guess. Anyway, here we are at the lake, and see if we could see anything. The other day there were a couple of river otters out here. Might see something. Here's the little stream that we visited before upstream and uh, fish come up this thing uh, pink salmon or humpies chimp salmon Dolly Varden an amazing number of silver or coho salmon and I wouldn't be surprised if you steelhead come in here too okay we're down at the lake and uh, yeah, there's a trail behind me and off behind me yet you can hear the water from the outlet water goes down the Indian River which we will visit next when I first came to town this lake never existed 35 years ago it was a great big rock quarry and all the trees you see around here they never existed it was all part of a big clear-cut rock quarry and over the last 35 years this lake has formed. We've got lily pads in it. Like I said, there's multiple varieties of fish. Uh, what dragonflies now? Damselflies. Ducks. In the wintertime, the great, uh, those great white uh, trumpeter swans come in here. And sometimes we see the uh, blue heron. I'm surprised none of them have built a nest. But anyway, this lake now is a big nursing area for all kinds of fish. Dolly Varden, pink salmon, chum salmon, probably I know lots of coho fry in here because you see them all summer. I uh, wouldn't be surprised some of the little steelhead come in here too. So it's quite a resource, all man-made. Well, let's head down to the down to the Indian River. 
Talking about coho fry, there's a few in there blipping right now. Look at them. Yeah, this place turned in quite a little fish nursery. I don't see anything else today. Oops, something coming my way. Ah! They spawned out pink salmon. Been up the creek and he's trying to get home, but he ain't going to make it. Uh, this is down at the outlet of the of the lake. This is a, maybe 100, 150 yards to the river. I don't think that old pink salmon is going to make it even this far. Well, we made it to the Indian River Trail. This is the three sisters. The sister on the left is where we saw the mountain goats. One over there. It's four and a half miles to the falls. We used to run around, hunt, and play around all over that country. Can't get up in there now. This here is the trail. There's my walker. A uh, short distance of the trail here is uh, usable on my walker. I can't go too much farther. A couple hundred yards is all. Up the trail we go. Yeah, the river's out there. It's not flooding much. I can sure see where it was a lot higher once. Last week when I was on this trail, I had two brown bear across in front of me. They were little young ones about, I'd say they were about three-year-olds. Mommy probably kicked them out. They didn't know where to go, so they came down here. They crossed the trail right up here in front of me. One was really dark colored and the other was light brown. And I later read in the paper that a couple of younger bears had gotten into somebody's garbage. So they got kicked out of the nest. They're young and they're stupid. And they don't know what to do. And they've come down here to get in trouble. And I'm afraid they're going to find it. They might be able to spot here. I think it's right up in here, Rice. Anyway, I know where they went in the woods find that spot again. Ah. Nice day out here. Squirrel back in there. They've been really busy cutting cones. Let's see, them bears are right across, came right across here. I was right up there by that stump up there. And they went through there. Right through there, I think. I came down here, and the time I got down here, I couldn't see where they went. Sneaky buggers. They disappear really quick in the woods here. It's really thick. Oh, I see a big old log in there. They probably went in behind it. All right. Well. Let's keep going down the old trail. Yeah, I was right about here. Some bears crossed back there. Yeah, quite a bit of water in the river. It got real high a couple days ago. Uh, I don't see too many pinks. Most of them are washed out. Coho coming in or silvers now. Boy, I sure miss fishing. Can't do it anymore. Hands don't work. Good grief, people don't get old. And the golden, the golden years isn't there. I've been looking for it. Not a lot of water running in here yet. Actually, it looks pretty good for fishing. Most of the time, the river's too low.
I saw something moving over here a little while ago, but I don't know what it is. There's a salmon over there, but whatever it was, it was big and dark. Hmm. I don't see it now. There's nothing but dead fish left now. I don't see very many live ones. Tracks down in here, I think they're river otter. Yeah. Okay. We've got lots of lots of evidence around here. Now, this is not bears. This is river otters eating all these fish. They're feeding on them here. They're probably in here close. I don't know where though. That's definitely river otters. And I got river otter tracks all over the place here. Yeah, river otters have been in here and feeding on all the dead salmon it collected in the trees and stuff. Kind of a protected spot here. They they could be in here playing around. And nobody could see them. I had trees and garbage down, filling up the river with brush. Yeah, a few red huckleberries still around. What a very good year for them this year. The ones in my yard. Probably down about 50%. It was cold spring and there were no bees. About three weeks ago I spotted a great big bear over there around those trees. Actually I think it was over here but it's too brushy to see now. Some trees fell down but right in this area there was a big old bear over there. First saw me, it was standing up. I had to shake my head. I thought I was looking at Bigfoot. And then he stooped down a little bit. But uh, there's a really big bear around, and he lives over there on the other side of the river. I see his tracks sometimes in my yard, and I got size 11 feet, and my feet fit right inside his tracks. And uh, I think he's the dog killer. We've had a number of dogs in our neighborhood killed. He got one here about, I don't know, three, four months ago. He got a dog. And he comes out at night, I think. I've never seen him moving around during the day. And he lives over there where nobody else goes. out here after a rain, isn't it? Everything's all shiny, new looking. Hmm. All quiet though. I heard one squirrel and nothing else. What's really been strange, this is the first time ever I have not seen literally hundreds of seagulls feeding on dead salmon and eggs in the river. I don't know what's going on, but something's not right. You can just you can feel it in the air that something isn't right. No bees in the spring. No seagulls out here. I don't know.
of a decent size tree burrow up there. Not real big, but so if you want to see a big tree burrow, you know, look at one of my vid videos of a big tree burrow we found. Biggest I've ever seen in my life. This is just a baby. Yeah, here's a busy squirrel. There's a few around. This sure your collection combs. You can tell how, they always say, you can tell how bad the winter's going to be by how high the cone debris is around their trees. Cute little bugger. The river kind of changed course here. We had a flood, but I don't think it got as high as it did a week or two ago. Boy, I don't even see any salmon hardly left, if there are any. I may have washed all the punk pinks out. I'm going to go out there and check. I, do, I rock hunt once in a while on a river. After a big flood, it washes the rock around. I sometimes look around find something interesting. Yeah, it looks like the flood and high water washed most of the salmon out. I just see dead ones right now. Dead humpies. Lots of humpies in the trees down in here. Lots and lots of stinky old humpies. Boy, <laughs> nothing like the smell of humpy perfume to get you all excited, huh? Yuck. I always check out the court veins. You never know, you might find that that golden nugget. Give me to my golden ears. That's an odd piece there, isn't there? Look at there. Look at that. There is some gold in Indian River. The little stream that comes out of Billy Basin has some gold in it. I know, because I know a guy that went up there and number of years. He went up there and did a little prospecting. He didn't find much, but he did find some color. Most of the, most of the gold this country is locked up in the courts. Chances of finding a vein or a, anything of any size like a nugget is pretty slim. Yeah, it's a pretty day to be out. First day of fall. Now, well, lots of dead humpies in the bushes. Just rotting away. Yeah, I guess it's time to work my way down the trail again. Back to the house. Well, yeah, like I said, been sick over 35 years. Well, kind of nice living in a big national park. Had a lot of experiences, a lot of fun times. A lot of strange times, too. God. Hit a whale once with my skiff. Or I should say the whale hit me. That was fun. I always attracted bears when we were fishing. I didn't have a gun, I had a camera. Sometimes I was like thinking of myself being bear magnet or something. Had some pretty close calls. One time I went across the river over there when there was snow on the ground. And I was shooting some video of some, something in the winter time. I don't know what it was. I was after, but I, the river was real low and I was able to get across it with extra tufts. So I got over there and walking around and there was this big pile of brush that was covered with about a couple feet of snow. I was standing next to it. 
I can hear something. What the heck is that? Sound like snoring. And I looked over in the middle of the pile of the brush, about from here to that tree away, which is about 10, 15 feet, and there's this hole, you know, about that big around. And it's all thawed out around the hole, and there was steam coming out of the hole. And I could hear that bear under there breathing and snoring a little bit. That's the closest I ever got to a live bear. So I kind of sat there for a while, or said so she stood there in the snow, listened to him for a little while, and I backed out of there and said, well, I've had enough of this. I don't want to wake him up. That was in February, and it was cold. Weird. Weird hearing that sound and looking at that, that giant pee hole in the snow that steam was coming out of. Really strange. Never seen one since. Yeah. Let's get down the trail. Looks like down here a tree fell over the other day. We had a big windstorm. Yep, old rotten tree fell down. Actually, somebody came in here and cut it up with a chainsaw. That's nice of them. So us old cripples can get through here. Yeah, it's really weird is that uh, last night was a clear night and there should have been a lot of animals out. I have not seen a bear track or a deer track anywhere today. Well, what's going on? They should have been out, at least during the night. Start to cloud up a little bit. That's really strange. That we haven't seen any tracks or something around here. A few dog tracks. People walking their dogs. A little short of, Little short animal tracks. Don't hear any birds either. Because I haven't been. Like I said, there's been no seagulls up here. Very few eagles this year. I don't know what happened to them. Somebody said bird flu got them. I don't know. Well, this is the end. My battery's getting low. I better shut it off unless I see something interesting. So thanks for watching the video. This is the first video I've put up in, oh my gosh, many, many years. Like I said, I don't have a video camera anymore. It's this little thing here I got around my neck. Anyway, thanks for watching my channel. Have a good day.